Can we talk about low inventory? Hey, this is Martin Taggart, powered by the behemoth monster we know of as eXp. And I gotta tell you what, one of the things that our clients like to talk about the least is low inventory. We have buyers for whom we've written several offers. I mean, some more than a dozen. And we have difficulties getting that offer, those offers accepted. But let's tackle this a little bit different way. In another video, we talked about all the things we can do to put our offers in first place. Uh, we might touch on that again, but that's not really the purpose of today's conversation. For today, what I'd like you and I to talk about or think about is the impact of low inventory on sales prices and then what happens as inventories bounce back, and they will. So right now, supply and demand, right? As supply and inventory has gone downward, prices have gone upward. It's not that unusual to see homes listed for 350, 375, sell upwards of 400 to $425,000. I didn't make that up. And that's in a multiple offer situation where you have people competing with each other to see who can win. But what's gonna happen when inventories rebound? Well, that's kind of an interesting question. Right now, part of what's kept inventories, or, or rather prices arching upward while inventories fall, is that interest levels on mortgage loans have also stayed stable and downward, right? So you're looking at a 15 year purchase loan at about two and a half percent, maybe two and three quarters, and a 30 year purchase loan at right around 3%. That's really cheap money, you guys. Look, I'm older than most of you, but when I bought my first home in 1987, my interest rate was 13 and a half percent, and I had a stellar, I know, I know you're gonna laugh at me, but I had a stellar credit score. My interest rate was really average for that time. Uh, some of you have parents <clears throat> that are older than me that are gonna have had even higher interest rates. As inventories start to, to trend upwards, what else is gonna trend upwards? Well, obviously there's gonna be more homes sold because you've got this huge backlog of people that wanna buy those homes. As inventory rates trend upward, sales prices are gonna flatten a little bit. They're not gonna go down, they're just gonna flatten. The increase won't continue. What happens to interest rates? Hey, that's simple, they go up. Yes, they go up. Why do interest rates go up when inventories go, go up? Because bank make, banks make money when they loan you money at a higher interest rate. As sales prices of homes start to taper off, not go downward, just taper off, banks will be able to raise their prices on loans because guess what? There'll be more competition than ever for the homes where prices start to taper. Look. If you're looking at a yield curve, if you're familiar with that, you're gonna see inventories that were going downward start to level off. Sales prices that were going upward are also gonna to start to level off. Banks are gonna take advantage of that by raising interest rates. So that huge group of people who were able to buy a higher priced home at a lower interest rate are now gonna buy a slightly less expensive home at a higher interest rate. What's that gonna to do to your monthly payments? It's not gonna be good. <laughs> Your monthly payments are gonna go up. So if you're on the fence right now and waiting for the market to change so you can buy a home at a more moderate price, you've gotta know that interest rates are gonna rise. If you don't believe me, ask your mortgage lender. When that occurs, you're gonna be paying more per month than you would if you bought a home now. Is this me telling you that you need to rush out and buy a home today, today only? No, this is me telling you pay attention to what takes place with the economy. If you wanna give me a shout, Click on the link down below, uh, Martin at team, uh, martin.teamre.com, or you can get a hold of me at martin.taggart, T-A-G-G-A-R-T, at teamre.com, and you and I can have a conversation about the economy and what's gonna take place with either the sale or the purchase of your home. And obviously, we've got a raft full of great team members who will do a fantastic job re re uh, representing you on either case. Have an awesome day, and remember, life is better with the team.